I've been saying for years that 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 the women are not interested in truckers. But I found a video talking about if you want to date a trucker, which means the tide must be changing in the uh in the dating world. Something's something's going on. I mean where we're strategizing on how to get blue collar men. What does that mean? I, I don't know. I don't know the implications. I'm not O'Shea Duke Jackson. I'm not all these people, but I just want to want you to look at this woman to woman tutorial on if you want to date a truck driver and, 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 and you tell me what that means. I don't know. Sounds like they want us. They on us. I'm just saying. You want a blue collar man. And you have good enough taste. So you've decided you want a blue collar man. And you have good enough taste that you've decided you want a truck driver. Well, good choice. But before you ride off into the sunset with your new asphalt cowboy, there's a couple things you should know. And like the girl's girl I am, I'm gonna give you a few tips. The first one's probably pretty obvious. Expect to be alone. Facts. A lot. And that just doesn't mean, you know, Monday through Friday, weekends, holidays, anniversaries, birthdays. If it's an important date, I can about guarantee you that he's not gonna be there. Hold and on, hold on. Listen, it takes proper planning. We'll say that. It takes proper planning. You need to plan your your days out. You need to plan your holidays out. You need to plan your events out. And he can get home to see you. That's, that's not true. And trust me, it's not his choice. The world just doesn't stop just because Santa came to town. I cannot tell you how many Christmases we've celebrated a week later because my truck driver was on the road. You learn to make your own magic. You learn to have things revolve around your world in their own way. Don't expect to come before the truck. Because <laughs> I can't even disagree with that. Because you're not going to. Ever. You might call her the truck, a side piece, the mistress. Baby, you, you are the side piece. You are the mistress. He might only be in our beds a couple days a month. He's with that bitch every night. You learn to be comfortable with it. This goes double if he's a Peterbilt man. Oh, oh there's there's oh. just something about a hood and a big cat. Those those cats just purr in a way that we can't. Also, you should probably learn the difference between a Kenworth, a Peterbilt, a Volvo, an international a Western you. star. You should also know the difference between a Detroit, a Cummins, and a cat. Speaking their language will help a lot. Bonus points for me if uh, you know the difference between an 18 speed, a 13 speed, a 10 speed, and my favorite, the 15 double over. If you're she's she's well trained, like she she knows she knows the language, she knows what's going on. She's obviously dating a trucker. I do want to throw some context in here. Expect not to see him if you don't want to get on the truck because in this, this video, she's not explaining that that is an option. You can go, you, you can, you can go. And on one hand, if y'all are in a serious relationship or something like that, that side piece is paying your bills. So she kind of got to come first or the money stops. So there's that. Um, I think she's from Texas. I can see the longhorn on the cup. They're a little bit, they're a little more um, acclimated to trucker life. But yeah, you definitely can go with them. You don't have to sit home and just be alone. Now, I don't know what she does. You, you may have a career or some shit like that. So you can't do that, but it's an option. I just wanted to know that it's an option. You don't have to stay home. You can go. Come on with me. We call it truck butt, baby. You're expecting him home? Don't count on him being home until you hear those brakes released in the yard. Nothing goes wrong more frequently than when that truck is homebound. Ice, it's Murphy's Law. Facts. 
the truck breaks down, the load is not picked up at the right time, they're not finished with the product to give it to you, the PO number's wrong, traffic's bad, weather's bad, everything's bad when you're supposed to be getting home. That's why you never, you never, you never say I'm getting home to do A, B, C, D, F, G. You never schedule anything because if you schedule anything, you are jinxing. You are jinxing your home time. You got to keep it loose, baby. That's, that's the only way it could be because if you say, all right, I'm going to come home so we can go to this cookout, you're going to miss that home time. That's true. That's true. I agree. I agree. That's when about 90% of your breakdowns are going to happen, especially if it's a birthday, anniversary, etc. Now, when you get that call, that text that he's on his way home, you might be really excited. I was always very excited, and I promise you he's very excited. But this is when it is crucial to shut up, to leave him alone. No communication. Why? I'll tell you why. Because when that sun's gone down, it's got that bitch in the high hole and she's eating fuel. The chicken lights are on and the radio's up high. <laughs> this girl's talking my language? <laughs> she's talking dirty to me. Oh my God. I mean, she is trained, bro. I mean, she is trained. Look at that. Got my nipples hard. That's crazy. She knows all the lingo. She knows what's going on. This is a keeper. This is a keeper, bro. Oh, y'all like, oh, ain't no woman that he ain't no woman that he ain't gonna deal with a trucker. She knows the lingo. She knows what you need mentally to get home. Yeah, she's a keeper right there. She's a keeper, yeah. Nice, nice little hot stuff, man. Can talk that dirty trucking talk to me. Chicken lights, hot gear, eating fuel. Girl, you better go on somewhere. You starting stuff. That's their church. That's where their soul gets right. That's rude interrupted. Now, one last thing woman to woman. Um, the Pete guy, he's going to be a prima donna. The Kenworth guy, he's going to be pretty solid. Even those Western star guys, they're pretty good. Now, Damn if he right. drives a Freightliner or a Volvo, baby girl, you can do better. Raise your standards. Oh, no, she didn't. No, she, oh my God. Kelly, I don't know your name. What did you just say? We got to go back. We got to go back. I was happy with you bashing on the long hood Peterbilt dudes. We love doing that, but don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Woman to woman. Um, the Pete guy, he's going to be a prima donna. The Kenworth guy, he's going to be pretty solid. Even those Western star guys, they're pretty good. Now, if he drives a Freightliner or a Volvo, baby girl, you can do better. <laughs> First of all, Every freight liner Volvo person right now coming at the bottom. What is she talking about? She could do better. What is whoa? Hold on, man. I, I take offense to that. I take offense, bro. Cause the truth is, most of us have to drive a freight liner. I don't gotta drive one, but most of us do. Oh, she's right about the Peterbilt guys. Y'all, y'all are prima donnas. Come on, y'all are prima donnas. I mean, y'all are all at the Blue Beacon. Come on. You, 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 tire shine guys. We get that. The Kenworth thing. Eh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it just, it just threw me for a loop. Raise your standards. Ra raise them high. Have fun. Wow. First of all, let's get in the comments and start acting up. I wasn't expect. I was with her until she went back there and knocked on my Freightliner guys. I mean, a Western star is a Freightliner. But whatever. The Volvo thing, ugh, come on, man. Come on. I don't I don't see I don't see how the truck matters on the person. I guess she was just making a joke. But everything else she was spot on, man. She was spot on. But they're starting to hunt truckers now, man. Let me tell you something. This dating, this dating world, this dating world is getting bad to the point where they're starting to hunt truck drivers now. We're a hunted commodity. They trying to get us. That means that that dating world must be doing terribly if we're on the chopping block. That's what that must mean. Crazy, crazy reaction to this video. I don't know her name. Matter of fact, let's give her a shout out right now. Let's give her a shout out right now. Her... Name is 605 Gemini, 605 underscore Gemini. 
Yeah, she has she has more stuff on here. Uh, um, a little cutie, man. She's just she's just dropping some trucking knowledge for the ladies and and uh, <clears throat> go follow her immediately. I thought that was uh, let me hit her with a follow. I thought that was cute, man. I feel like she was uh, she was just talking some stuff, and I don't I, I don't I don't you know come on. The Peter the Freightliner shot the Volvo shot. Comment at the bottom what y'all think of that. Comment at the bottom what y'all think of that. Yeah. Comment at the bottom what y'all think of that. Cause that that's uh that's crazy, man. I, I don't wanna I don't I don't wanna say that about nobody. I guess that's her old man. But he drives a Peterbilt. I don't know. Crazy. Crazy. Make sure you sub. Make sure you follow. Go to the Patreon, and we're on Rumble every week. We are hitting 382 followers on Rumble.com. We started at nothing. Now we're at 382. I appreciate everybody that came over to Rumble.com, man. I really do. Um, over there, you get 100% notifications. And um, I thank you for coming over and supporting it. On YouTube, they don't really support our type of conversation that truckers have. We're a little bit too crass. We're a little bit too rough, and they don't think it's good for the platform. So we have to go to a platform that promotes freedom of speech, and and that is Rumble.com. My name over there is TB Uncut. I also will always put a link down at the bottom. We're up to 382. I hope you come over, download the app onto your phone. It's a great experience. Be happy, and if you're new to the channel, please sub. We're out.